Makeda Valletta, also known as the Body Scientist. I hope you all can hear me okay. No one's on yet, but um, I am live. I'm in the country in Amherst, Massachusetts, um, not too far from University of Massachusetts um, in Amherst, and I'm on this farm, this lovely um, farm. There's a bunch of uh, farms around here where you can get raw milk and ice cream from the farm. And so I had to show this because I get, you know, I'm a nutrition educator. I believe in local foods, good quality foods, traditional foods. And people are constantly saying that you can't find good quality food in the U.S. Let me know if you can hear me, okay, if you need me to get my earphones. Here, I'm going to get my earphones just to make sure the sound is good. Okay, so hold on. So for those of you who are just joining... I'm at a farm here in um, Massachusetts in the country, okay? In this area in Amherst, there's, there's all kinds of good weed dispensaries and raw milk farms. Just driving here, in five minutes, I passed two farms, three farms, okay? Where you can buy raw milk right off the farm and ice cream. Okay, so let me show you. I'm glad you can hear me loud and clear. So... Yes. So when I was a kid, there's cows over there too. I don't know if you can see them. Okay, so you have all these healthy cows. It's very green over here. Cows are, are meant to eat grass and that's it. Okay, so these are not commercial industry, commercial food industry cows. Okay, these are not cows that are being fed um, other cows and slop. Okay, so these are healthy cows outside in the sun. Okay, beautiful cows. I love this smell. Beautiful. Oh, look at these beautiful cows. It, they look so healthy. And on this farm that I'm at, you can buy, hi, beautiful cows. Aw. Cows are sacred. Thank you for the milk. Thank you for the butter. Oh, beautiful cows. I've never been this close to cows, okay? Look at them, look at how beautiful and peaceful they are, okay? And you have, you're in, I'm in the country of Massachusetts in Amherst, this place sells ice cream, okay? So you know I love ice cream and I love milk. I love my raw milk, okay? Um, and so this myth that in the U.S. you can't get good food and everything is poison and da 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 da. I've traveled to many countries and I have not seen this okay the u.s is a huge country it's not the same everywhere and i study food access i don't just tell people what to eat oh this is bad this is oh you can't find good milk you can't find good beef you can't find good pork in america yes you can okay now again raw milk if you haven't seen my videos where i talk about raw milk raw milk is different than the homogenized pasteurized milk that um we get in the supermarkets from sick cows okay so check out my videos these cows are so beautiful so i came here i'm in amherst um i was like oh my dad is like i haven't been here since i was a kid he's like oh there's tons of farms around i'm like yeah but sometimes when there's a lot of farms it doesn't always mean you can get milk like i feel like if i was in maybe louisiana or some places you're in massachusetts yeah i'm in um uh, what part of massachusetts are you in I'm in Hadley right now, actually. So I was um, came up here to go to Amherst, to UMass. And um, it's in the country. I remember coming here a lot as a kid, and it was in the country. But when I looked up raw milk, there was like three places right by the campus. Okay? Three places right by the college campus to get raw milk. Driving here, I passed two other farms that have ice cream. Okay, now you guys know how I feel about ice cream and good quality ice cream made from good quality milk and also raw milk and butter and cream. Okay, let me see, let me, let me flip it over one last time. You live in Boston, okay, near Boston. I don't know Boston, I, I spent a lot of time in Amherst growing up, I have only been to Boston once for like a few hours. But you probably, you know, in Boston they probably bring the milk from the farm into Boston, which is what they do in New York. I get my raw milk in New York City, but it's, it's delivered to me from farms upstate. I mean, you can you can go an hour outside of New York City and there's beautiful farms and healthy cows and beautiful grass. The East Coast is beautiful. The Northeast is beautiful. 
but these cows these are healthy beautiful cows that um giving you nice good milk great milk okay okay and actually being on a farm is good for kids it's good for their health it's good for their immune system okay it's good for our immune system too but there's so many you know i mean it's just very green here this is a straight country it's hard to get milk in detroit are you sure i haven't looked in i haven't looked in detroit it's not hard for me to get it in chicago if you i don't know if you wherever you are if you're trying to find raw milk now the laws are different in each state in terms of the laws and access but check realmilk.com realmilk.com and put in your state and you will find all the places that you can get raw milk and let me know if you find anything nice little chickens back there this is anyhow um and then up here okay so this is called cook farms okay i'm about to go up here and get some ice cream they have this little farm store up here with ice cream this is not the name of the the the, the farm has an instagram page i'm going to put them i'm gonna i'm gonna tag them um but look welcome to cook farms established in 1909 Open for, for visitors from 10 a.m. until dusk. No visitors allowed in the farm past dusk. This is a working dairy farm. You are entering at your own risk, and you are responsible for the safety and conduct of your children. As guests, we kindly ask you adhere to the rules we have in place to protect our animals and our guests. In order for our farm to open, to remain open to the community, we need your cooperation. So the thing is, is that this idea, again, America is a huge country, okay? And it's, it, it's a huge country that, um, hold on, okay, America's a huge country that has lots of um, farm, I mean, every single state, every single state is mostly rural, when you get outside of the cities, I mean, there's a farm in Maryland where I haven't gone to, to get raw milk, not too far from D.C., did you get ice cream? Oh yeah, no, I'm, I was I'm doing a video. Um, yeah, no, I'm doing a video because you know I'd be talking about raw milk, trying mm -hmm. to show people. Is the ice cream good? It's working. How many flavors did they have? About twenty. About twenty? Are you serious? I don't know if this is the that particular ice cream, but it's got about twenty flavors. And I would think that it is because they got the cows here. Yeah, the ice cream is made from their milk. I can't wait to eat it. Yay. Because I wanted to get raw milk, but I don't have a refrigerator. What did you say? At least 20 flavors. Okay. Well, okay. So, let me go inside. Did they take, they took cards? I don't know, but if you got that, you did Okay. Let me see. They took that 40 pounds. Okay. Let's see. Um... Hmm. Oh, they have current seasonal flavors. Okay. This farm. Oh, I'm just talking about. What is this? Cook Farm bought her in the summer of 1985 from Don Heron and Sons in Leyden, Massachusetts. Little do we realize at the time the tremendous impact that she would have on our breeding program. Faber had 13 daughters for us, and with these daughters and her son, Flip, 80% of our herd traces back to her at least once. Why do we spell Flavor with A-Y? Because they have a, a cow named Flavor, okay? Now, this is where we should be getting our food, from small farms. And there are small, there, there are small family farms all over America, and you can get meat, milk, eggs, cheese, all that stuff. Not just produce, okay? And this place has ice cream. This is not Baskin Robbins. So they have several flavors up here made from their milk, okay? Okay, and I'm, again, I'm in the country. Well, I want orange pineapple or ginger. And they have frozen yogurt. I hope it's full fat, okay? They have chai ice cream, some apple crisp stuff. Look at corn. Can't get any more American than, than corn. Okay, I love American ice cream. 
I love American food. And this is a beautiful farm. Oops, sorry. With healthy cows. Gotta dispel this myth that we cannot find, you know, good quality food in the U.S. Absolutely not true. So I'm going to keep educating about that. And again, I am in Hadley, Massachusetts. And there were two other farms that I passed them over here that also has raw milk, okay, and ice cream. So I'm going to eat my ice cream and go about my business. Bye, people.